All right, we're going to try this again. This is the third time I'm doing this. Good morning. It is June 25th, 2018. I keep wanting to say 16. I don't know what that is. But uh, it's 2018, and it is Monday. And it is kind of chilly here. Um, it is 59 degrees, but it's kind of chilly. It's rainy, so it's icky, icky, icky. Um, so yesterday I went to the gym. I only stayed about 10 minutes. Um, I did a, like 10 minutes on the treadmill and then my ra brain was racing on all the stuff that had to be done and what I needed to do for that day and um, my nephew's coming up today and all kinds of stuff so I just did the treadmill and then I left. So after work today I am going to the gym. I am already dressed ready to go. Um, so I will be going to the gym right after work today and doing my little hour workout and then I have work today. Um, so let's see, I have a couple of things that I'd like to address. So, you know, I've been talking a whole lot about disappointment and all of that lately and, you know, lots of things um, disappoint me because I do know people's values and I do recognize what people are capable of um, and so because of that my expectations for people are higher than their own expectations for themselves a lot of times and so it's very disappointing when people don't believe in themselves the way I believe in them and um It's hard. So, um, you know, because I never want to let anybody down. So I always work hard to make sure that I am living up to somebody else's expectations and above and beyond. I always like to make sure that I um, leave a good impression for people and that it's everlasting. And um, you know, very few people can shit on me. Very few people. So anyway, now, so just keep that in mind in your day-to-day -day, um, actions of how you can't always live up to everybody's expectations, but your expectations should be, uh, for yourself, should be fairly strong. And if somebody believes in you more than you believe in yourself, hold on to that. Grab on to that and use that as motivation to be successful really because that is a great way to succeed is by somebody else believing in you that you're capable of it um so recently there was this um young man who was murdered in the bronx and this the bronx is lots of murders happening but this particular one is a little gruesome and bothersome um, because this 15 year old boy, Junior, hashtag justice for Junior, um, was in a bodega in the Bronx and two or three men, I can't remember, went into the bodega and pulled him out of the bodega and beat him with machetes and stabbed him with stabbed him with machetes and knives the bodega owners or maybe not the owners the bodega employees whatever they are did not call police even after they were actually you could on the video you could see them brushing them out the store and then you also, in the video, see one stick his head out the side and see them, what they're doing to this young man. Now, once did they call 911? There is the Bronx. There's people walking by and driving by. Now, one person called the cops. Now, one person. Now, 
completely have become a society of now in New York. No, let me just say this. in New York, it's always been mind your business. It's always been that way. You know, you mind your business. Keep your eyes to yourself. Don't get any involved in anybody's shit. But situations like that, you need to not mind your goddamn business. I don't care if the kid robbed the store. I don't care if the kid was a drug dealer. I don't care if I don't care if he's the most horrific person in the entire world. Nobody deserves to be treated that way. If he did something wrong, let the judicial system take care of him. Not society. That's the America we live in. We don't live in a country like Japan or China, I don't even know, I'm just using those because of what I've read in history, that uses corporal punishment or allows those type of things. Like, we don't live in that. We live in a country that has a judicial system that is supposed to be taking care of these things. Not police, not citizens, nothing. Come to find out the kid was an innocent kid. He didn't do anything wrong. It was mistaken identity. And this is why we should not be allowing us to be judge and jury. This is why. Now, the individuals who committed the crime, the murder, apparently were all caught. Thank you very much, police, for doing your job. And the gang that they were involved in apologized which is a useless apology, a useless apology. Your gang should be taking care of your own. Plain and simple, plain and simple. Stop worrying about what everybody else is doing. Now, I don't even wanna to touch on why this happened because that's irrelevant. It should have never happened, never. Now. One would say gangs should do it to each other or, you know, I don't agree with it at all. I don't agree with it at all. You do not have the authority to play judge and jury. You don't. Especially where you're doing criminal acts yourself. Have you ever heard of that saying, you shouldn't throw glass when you live in a glass house? Or you shouldn't go throw stones when you live in a glass house? Exactly. So, getting off the game topic, this poor boy, after they beat him, escape and get into the store, bloodied, they kick him out of the store. Still no 911 call. Now he is a block away from the hospital. This young man runs to the hospital. Not able to make it into the hospital. Has no more gas to get going. Sits on the step. People recognize him. I don't know if it was police or security guards. I don't know what the hell it was. Not one medical person came out of that hospital to come help this young man. Not one. Nobody came out of that hospital to come help this young man. There's a video footage of him sitting there. He flops down. He's moving still. He's still alive at that point. In that whole entire video, people are taking their shirts off trying to stop the blood. Nobody picks him up and brings him into the hospital. No medical staff comes out and helps him. He dies. Now we all know if he if he was only a block away, so he got there on his own coordinates faster than an ambulance can get to him. Then you know, get to him. So that's one thing. And nobody was helping him out front of the bodega, so the kid's bleeding out, and nobody comes and is attending his wounds. People walking by, nobody does anything. People driving by. We are a fucked up society. Fucked up society. Now. 
this is what I have. This is why if, if, if I feel so deeply about this. Because when I was 14 years old, I was set up and I was jumped by a group of people. 90% of them I had no idea who they were. I think two people out of the whole group I knew who they were. And it was like nine of them. Eight, nine, something like that. Or maybe it could have been less. I don't know. To me, it felt like it was nine. And all the people drove by, saw this happening, saw these people punching and kicking and beating the crap out of me. We're in a mall, in a fucking mall. Security doesn't come help me. Drive people driving by doesn't don't come help me. People in the mall don't come help me. Now one person came for quite some time. One lady driving by pulls over in her minivan and comes and gets me. One lady. Luckily, I didn't have any broken bones. I had lots of bruises on my face. And the only thing that happened was I had a, I have a shattered, a chipped piece of bone on my thumb. That's it. And it's still there. It's still chipped. It's still sitting there. That's it. Since two people that the two people that I knew that were participants in this fight have apologized. Whatever. The other individuals, I don't know. I don't know them. I, I don't know the reasoning behind it. I know I was set up. And the person who set me up, I've never seen or spoken to since. So my set I thank that lady for coming to get me because who knows what could have happened. I don't know how long the fight was going on for. I know it was for quite some time and I was trying to get away, but they kept my head down in between my legs. And I think it's very cowardly that more than one person jumps on one person. If you have a problem with somebody, you fight them one on one. You don't fight 20 or 10 or five or three or one on one. Give me a chance. There is no way that I can fight more than one person at a time. I'm not fucking Bruce Lee. Anyway. So this type of thing really bothers me when stuff like this happens because we are people walking by and not one person says, hey, let me stop this. I don't care what the person who's getting beat up has done. I don't give a shit. It's not okay for more than one person to fight another individual. It's just never okay. It's not. It's not okay. And so, if you have a gang of people, if you have a problem, if there's four people who have a problem with this one person, fight one on one. Yeah, each take your turn. You don't do four on one. That's just not okay. So this young man has lost his life because these gang members played judge and jury. He's the wrong person that they were going after, not even the correct individual. And that bothers me, but it bothers me even more that not one single person on a Bronx street, and you can't tell me that it's dead because it's fucking not Maine, it's the Bronx, okay? Not one person stops to help this kid. Now just imagine, if one person driving by would have seen all those people and said something, or they, even if they didn't say something at the time, if they would have called 911, if the, if the store owner would have called 911 as soon as he saw that kid being dragged out the store. Think about it, what it maybe the kid would have been able to live. He may still have gotten cut and stabbed and done all that, but by the time it was all said and done, the police could have been there they could have provided him with medical attention. Ambulance would have been there. Could have saved his life, maybe. Maybe. Who knows? We don't know. We don't know because it was never done. So, the see something, say something is a crock of shit. It's just a saying. 
And then to be sitting out front of the hospital and not one medical staff comes out of the hospital, security or police, whatever they were that was standing there, didn't pick him up and bring him in there. None of his friends that were there picked him up and brought him in there. Like, like, I don't understand. That's just like the man who died in Lewiston. All of his friends that were with him let that man die. Like, the video footage that I saw of that man in Lewiston, I saw the after. I didn't see, but I, I guess there's another video of the actual brick hitting the end of it, actually hitting the man. I don't want to see that. So the video footage that I saw, his friends are encouraging him and participating in this. And then you see him laying on the ground. Nobody went over and was talking to him. Nobody over, went over and was like, it'll be all right, Donnie. No, nothing. And like I said in a little previous video, maybe that would have helped. Just a little bit to keep the brain active and going. Maybe, maybe, but nobody bothered. They were too busy filming, too busy worrying about themselves to do any of that. It's disgusting. Disgusting. What the fuck do we live in for a world right now? We don't have humanity. We are starting to lose humanity. In our government isn't any fucking better. Immigrants are coming over here trying to find a, a safe haven from and, a, and get a better way of life. And what do we do? We arrest them and take them from their children. And they keep their children in fucking cells. Instead of trying to help them become American citizens. What the fuck is wrong with our country? So, the moral of my comment is, step up, be a human, have feelings. What if it was your child? What if it was your friend, your brother, your sister, your uncle, your father? What if you would want somebody to say something? You would want somebody to reach out and help. You wouldn't want them to say, it's none of my business. Just like if you see a man beating the shit out of a woman, you wouldn't want somebody to drive by. You would want to pull over and help and tell him to stop. Say something. Say something. I'm not saying you got to get out of your car while there's shots being fired. I'm not saying you got to get out of your car while the kid's getting stabbed to death because you could get stabbed to death. I'm saying pull your car over, call 911, wait for the actions to stop, gather other people, go over there and stop it. That's what I'm saying. Humanity. Well... The best investment you can make is an investment in you. What are you investing in me today? Today I'm investing the gym. And I invested some energy in you guys, hoping that this message makes it to somebody, somewhere. You guys have a great day, and I'll check in with you tomorrow.